In the spirit of love and compassion, let us pray. Spirit of life, God of many names, be in our hearts and minds as we go our separate ways. We have come together this evening to honor those who have especially served your people in the world, and in so doing, held up models of justice, compassion, courage, and love. We give thanks especially for those whom we have honored this evening, Mary Jane Brock, Amina J. Mohammed, and the Parkland students Chris Grady and Ryan Deach. We ask that you continue to encourage them and all of us as we strive for justice and peace among all people. Let us know that each from our own tradition came this evening to lift our spirits in unity. Knowing that we are part of an interconnected web of life, let us acknowledge and embrace that which binds us together, our humanity. We pray that we may be loving and able stewards of this world. We pray that we acknowledge our differences as we seek out our common ground, each of us working toward the good of all. We recognize that there is hurt and sorrow, deeds that confound us, and actions for which we can find no justification. Yet we also know there is untold good, folks that work every day for the benefit of all people. Let us stand with them. We pray that we have the strength to recognize our soul work and to overcome the inertia that invades us during difficult times. We pray that while we recognize the occasional tiredness in our bones and in our hearts, that we call upon the strength of our higher power that we might be the best person that we are called to be. Thank you as well for the Interfaith Center of New York, for the many people involved in its work, for all those who have gone before and all those who will come after. Let us be the good we want to see in others. Let us work to be the change that we seek. And as we renew these goals in our hearts, inspired by all that we have heard and seen and been privileged to be a part of, let us say a grateful amen. <laughs>